What's up guys? Welcome to Colton Photography Reviews. I'm Sean Colton. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new, really exciting product from Small Rig that I've been anxiously awaiting the release of, and that's their brand new VCT base plate. So let's get into it. Now, before we go much further into the video, I want to thank our video sponsor for today, and that's Photo Service in Montreal. Photo Service is the place to go for your imaging needs, whether it be photo, video, or lighting. And on top of that, they have a killer studio space that you can rent. So, check them out online at photoservice.ca and come visit them next time you're in Montreal, Canada. Now, I want to be clear. Small Rig provided me with this base plate for review. However, I've been under no obligation, as with all my reviews, to provide it a positive review just because I'm getting a free copy. But I want to be very clear on that. Their new VCT base plate I have had the opportunity to shoot with for a few days now. And it is honestly the solution I've been looking for. In the last couple weeks I was working on a CBC documentary. And one of the things that we were using were two FS7s fully rigged out for ENG work or electronic news gathering. This is the ideal setup for run and gun. And if you're working in broadcast, honestly, the VCT base plate is the industry standard. It uses what is essentially a V-lock front and then a pin on the back. Now, one of the joys of this base plate as the industry standard, it can take a lot of weight and it's completely hands-free to lock into place. So, for example, if we take small rigs, BCT shoulder pad here. It simply fits in and then locks. I don't have to do anything else to have a very rigid lock in place and I don't have to touch it again. To unlock, it's simply pulling the pin, pulling this handle with a slight slide back and it's off. Now the industry has had these base plates around for years. The original ones were from Sony, and they made some of the nicest versions of the product back in the day. This was back when we were working with beta cans, back before my time, I'll flat out admit. Over the years, a lot of other manufacturers have attempted to make VCT base plates. Some have been great, while some of them have been far less than great. A lot of the other manufacturers over the years have used a variety of different materials for their VCT base plate to try and reduce cost. These have included cast white metal and plastics. Now, when you look at all the other products out there, even the original Sonys that people have used for decades, they still do include plastic parts. One of the big advantages of the new small rig model is the whole thing is made out of CNC milled aluminum. It's extremely beautifully made. Everything is metal, including right down to the little safety release catch on the side. This is not even normal for Sony's, and yet this unit weighs less than any of the other metal VCT base plates that are out there. It is an expensive product. It always has been. If you look at the original industry ones, they're still selling on the used market for over 200 American dollars. If you're looking for something that is more a third party brand, often you're gonna scrimp on a lot of quality to be able to get a VCT base plate. One of the main areas that a lot of the brands skimp on is the rear pin. On the original Sony product, this was spring loaded. A lot of the third party manufacturers have made this pin a fixed pin, and it also means that there's potential slop in the back side of the camera depending on you having to adjust your shoulder pad's rear pin mount to therefore get a tight fit. This means that going from plate to plate or camera to camera, you will not always have a perfectly tight fit or you'll have trouble getting it on and off. With small rig, they've introduced a really nice strong spring-loaded rear pin, which works really well for helping both provide resistance when you're putting the camera on, help pull the camera back when you're removing it, and in addition, also to help keep it so that there is no slack and the camera is locked solid to the base plate. Now I was able to test the plate with two different models of shape shoulder pad, along with the Zacuto shoulder pad. All three of these nicely fit into the small rig unit without any rubbing and easily locked into place. 
They locked nice and tightly to the VCT plate, had no slop whatsoever, and easily unlocked when pulling the tab. All three of these, in addition to the small raid shoulder pad, worked perfectly with the unit, and I can't see why models from other manufacturers such as Wooden Camera would be any issue with this VCT plate. Alright guys, that's our review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to pick up any products you've seen in today's video, such as the new Small Rig VCT base plate, go straight over to smallrig.com and check in the pre-order section so you can pick one up today for a discounted price. That pre-order will only be happening until the end of September 2018, so if you see the video after that, double check in the description box below, and I'll also have an affiliate link for full orders once it's shipping, and if you buy from that affiliate link, you help the channel, so I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I want to thank Photo Service here in Montreal for providing me this incredible studio space to shoot in today. If you're in Montreal, come check them out. They're on Notre Dame, right downtown in the old port area. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscription button below and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time we put out a new video. Thanks again and see you in the next video.